Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about the latest Vim trick I have learned. It's called Vim Terminal Mode. So, uh, here, here am I in my uh, .NET stuff. Uh, I'm using some c -sharp files. And let's say I just open my unit test.cs. Okay. My Vim by default opens to oops, uh, unit test1.cs. Yeah. My Vim by default actually opens with two windows because uh, my Vim RC has a V split at the beginning. Okay, Vim RC has a V split in the beginning. I also set it to no wrap. Okay, um, so these are some of the convenient things that I have uh, done. I will of course leave this in the description. But the latest thing I have found out was uh, that you can use a terminal in Vim, which is a pretty sick trick. So uh, if you if you see this, how do I run the terminal inside Vim? Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can actually have a built-in terminal from Vim 8.1 onwards. Okay. So if you check a Vim version. Okay. Vim version, this is uh, 8.2. Okay. This is the one I have. Alright. Uh, so Vim 8.1 onwards has a built-in terminal that can be opened with the term or terminal command. Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to open up uh, the same file again, unit test1.cs. So, as you know, instantly splits the screen in two by typing vsplit there. I can uh, quit and then I put vsplit as well. That will actually split the screen in two. Okay, so uh, the neat thing is that yes, you can open a terminal here. It's very useful. Just press, just type terminal, it will open it up and you can quit it or exit terminal. Or term, term or terminal, both are okay. So that's a nice thing. So exit again, terminal colon terminal when you are in command mode brings you to terminal. So in terminal you can ls or do anything. You can even use an alternative shell like zsh, zsh, and you will use a zsh here. Though uh, for screens this small, uh, you can see that the zsh uh, thing actually takes up almost uh, the whole the whole line there. So maybe it's nicer to use a uh, bash uh, for this, unless you can configure ZSH to shorten the, the terminal bar or anything. And the nice thing is that, well, if you want to do uh, build files like .NET build, okay, you can run it from the terminal. You press Control W W to switch. Okay, you can of course use Git within the terminal. You can do lots everything that you'd normally do in a terminal within. Uh, within Vim, okay? So it will take a while, of course. It will be compiling stuff. And it took 19 seconds to finish. So let me clear, or Control L. So yeah, that, that's that's what it does, the terminal. It's, it's great. Uh, the nicer, nicer thing is that you can even do git stuff on it. Git status, git uh, add, or you can change branches, do whatever you want. Okay, uh, all right, so uh, this is very nice. And what I like to do now is to show you a, a nicer setup for my Vim RC. Okay, I will go to the end by pressing uh, what dollar? No, I can't remember what's the, the syntax. Oh, G, yeah, capital G. Okay, capital G goes to the end of the file. Press O to open, and you just type a uh, terminal right here save and quit save and quit and let me open let me open the uh, vim uh, unit test one again and every time you open now the terminal thing will just pop up so okay uh, this is how i like to set up my vim rc okay set mouse equals minus a syntax on file type indent on file type plugin in that on now well, i like to use uh, deal with uh, cshtml files I set the line number and set the relative number. I V split and I set the text to no wrap. Okay, I can of course do terminal. Okay, beware of course to do the terminal before the V split. If not, you will you will end up something like this. Say okay, open terminal. I save and quit WQA. Uh, quit, exit, quit. Okay, if not, you will have this this sort of uh, setup. So. The order in which you, you uh, do your split screens and terminals are pretty important. 
and you see both of these on top are exactly the same terminal so it's pretty useless to uh, do things like this so don't do it like that open this and you put terminal okay and at least you you have uh, you have like this uh, split screen effect because if you don't want this you can always uh, quit and then you have a terminal on the left hand side uh, vim on the right hand side or uh, yeah you can just do the v split like this and you can do the terminal on the right okay um, well but uh, I'm not going to do the terminal on the right uh, I mean it's a convenient thing but uh, yeah it's nice to have your terminal uh, all of these things on the left or on the bottom left uh, it, uh, that that's just easier to set up but the, the easiest way to set up a, a V split and a terminal within your Vim RC is to have the terminal right after the V split. Okay, and then so that you will have something like this. So this is a very easy way to set up Vim such that uh, uh, yeah, such that you have a terminal there, you can do your git uh, commits, git adds, you can compile if you are doing C, C sharp, uh, any of these other codes. You can even run Nerd tree with Terminal and Vim. So you almost have a full IDE. So uh, IDE-like setup. Okay, uh, so uh, let's see. Yeah, let me change the height. Uh, obviously, with with more with more uh, things like this, you will need more screen real estate. Yeah, you need more screen real estate in order to uh, get things done properly. All right. So I'll do vSplit, term, and like that. This is how I liked my Vim, set, Vim setup now. Okay, so that's, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope this was uh, fun and helpful. It will make your Vim work a lot faster. And to navigate between each of these windows, just uh, press Ctrl WW and you will be okay. Okay, I'll see you. Thanks for watching.